to Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so this is part three of the Vico Ultimax Spa Pump Repair. Okay, so in the last two videos, we showed you how to remove the wet end cover. We showed you how to remove the impeller from the Vico Spa Pump using a strap wrench and removing the back cover from the A.O. Smith Century uh, motor. Okay, this motor is a type CXPM with an R. 56Y frame, the Hertz are 60, the volts are 230, the amps are 16.4.48 continuous cycle motor, okay? The catalog number is CB029, okay? So now that we've moved on with that, and you're probably wondering why I mentioned those details, because we, we want you to know that you're working on the right motor with that, you know, stingent and dedicated to you. We do this repairs all the time. You know, you, you see a lot of guys on YouTube and they're like, oh, this is how you do it. And listen, we do this for a living. You've probably seen me and Robert on the 200 videos. We're serious about pump repair. We got passion for it, whatever. Okay, so moving forward. Okay, I'm going to show you how to remove the seal housing. But not only that, this is like a dual video. I might have even titled that to this video at this point. You know, kind of got to think ahead now but before I put it on YouTube, like how to remove your through bolts. Okay, so here it is. It's basically how to remove your seal housing and how to remove your through bolts, okay? Because they're both connected on most pumps and especially this pump. Okay, so in the back of your motor here, you've got these things called through bolts. Robert's gonna zoom in a little so you can see what these through bolts look like real up close. Now you got four of these bolts inside on the motor, okay, these four bolts. Now we've already pre-loosened these with something called a nut driver, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna loosen these, these through bolts, all four of them, okay? And then they pull out. Now, Robert will back up a little and I'll show you something. Okay, the reason they're called through bolts the reason they're called through bolts is because they stick all the way through the motor. See, they're that long. Okay, so you want to remove all four of these through bolts. And when you remove all four of the through bolts, you'll be able to remove this uh, the seal housing in the front. All right? Now, like I said, we've already pre-loosened these through bolts to make it easier for you to watch. Okay? Now, remember, we're working on the Vico Ultimax Spapa. All right, so once you remove those four through bolts, okay, you can take your uh, seal housing here and you can just slide it right off your shaft just like that. Now you can see in here, okay, there's the seal housing, Robin will zoom in a little. Now I want you to see something on the seal housing, Robin will zoom in real close in that white part there, right nice in the light so you can see that good. Okay, see that black stuff on there? That black is kind of like when your 12 bolt flapper goes bad because on this part of the seal here, I will bring it over to you, on this part of the seal here, you'll see that's black material. What happens when that black material this starts breaking down, it starts wearing on there and after a while, that wears down and becomes, you know, uneven and starts cracking and this, this, it can't go. And in the next video, in the next video, I will show you how to, uh, in the next video, I will show you how this seal actually works. Okay? So this is stay tuned. The next thing you want to do now is hit the subscribe button and we'll show you the next videos about how to take the armature out of here and how to change the, uh, the bearings. All right? So this is Joe Tamar from Wethead Pump Repair. Thanks for watching the video with the Century AC motor by A.O. Smith. This is the Vico Ultimax Spa Pump. Okay, thanks for watching. All parts and kits are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Peace.